and uh, welcome to your self-realization. We'll do uh, gratitude. Mother, Father, God, we give gratitude and thank yous for this day. We ask for your infinite light of protection to be with us and through us wherever we are so that only the highest and best will occur through our thoughts, words, and actions. And through those thoughts, words, and actions will lead us to a better understanding of our own self. So when we meet those on our path, we have an understanding of them. And we give thanks for this day. Amen. 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 So today uh, we are going to be, we were saying that we were going to do obsession and possession. However, we skipped over the rose meditation. And do you remember when we had that open day where we were just discussing that would have been rose meditation day. And David said, what about rose meditation? And I said, Oh, that was the day we, you know, spoke. So we're, we're going to do that today. Reverend David's going to be uh, doing the rose meditation, right? Yeah. Rose meditation. Yeah. I want to let you all know when I do this meditation, my eyes are closed. I'm not sleeping. I went like this. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, you, you're awake? <laughs> so he's telling me this. What's, what's going on here? Let's take a look. You might have something. Oh, yeah, you do have something. Oh, it's just saying uh, the meeting had been recorded. There we go. So we'll do the rose meditation. Okay. Is there anything you want to tell them about it before we get started? Does anybody have a, a favorite color of uh, red? I wouldn't say it's no. My, however, I not love me. It. I... Okay, we're all but, uh, a favorite uh, color other than red. Is that what you're saying? Is, is, if it's do red. you have a favorite color of red? Is that your favorite color? No. I like a sort of deep, deep red. The almost leaning on the pinky burgundy side. That's your favorite color? Is yeah, that, if it's if, in the red, in the red range. Deep, like a deep, almost slightly pinky burgundy, if that makes any sense. So it's not red. So the way that, he, the way but that he's that asking, off. he's asking if of all the colors in the universe, is that your favorite color? Okay. You'll understand once we get going. Yeah. Okay. All right. As we become quiet, let us concentrate on our breath. As this breath moves in through the nostrils and into your being, feel the relaxation that's being ignited. Just relax. As this relaxation moves gently in and around and through you, it starts settling in the area, the understanding part of our being. And each image you see, you will be understanding what that is. And as, you, and as this relaxation moves gently in and around your body, it, it goes into the feet area of understanding. And so allow the, this understanding to move up the legs, Feeling all tension, frustration, and nerves this lead, just relax and recognize. Okay. As this breath moves up, up the body, uh, feeling all uh, ease moving along in, in a manner that a pleasant moving toward the knees and up the thighs and up the legs. Just relax. Relax. As you are relaxing, I want you to visualize and notice a red rose in a bud state. And as you notice this in bud state, you notice it opening up very gently. You don't, this is not a race, just allow it to open up. And as the, the red rose in a bud state opens up, you 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 notice the the energy and the feeling and the sensation of the of the red rose opening up, and when it get get to the full bloom and everything like this, notice how 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 you feel uh, as this red rose becomes 
becomes one with, the, with your thoughts and everything. And then, as you feel it and fully bloom now, remember the feelings and the sensation as it moves into the open, uh, open, notice the petals and everything like this. And I want you to place it over to the left. And as you place it over to the left, there's a rose of your favorite color. This is not a logical thing. Whatever your favorite color is, that is what the rose is in a bud state. And it opens up very gently into the into a, the from the bud state, open fully, noticing the petals and everything as it does open up. And you, as you as it opens up, you become more relaxed and everything. And when you have your favorite color fully bloomed, I want you to move them together into into one. Remember the feelings and the sensation. As, as this rose comes to become one. Remember the feelings and the sensations and everything. And as it becomes one, remember the feelings and the sensations of, of as it becomes one. Just relax, recognize the, the, the rose that has now become one. And, are, and as you notice that rose, I want you to place it into the heart area. And I'm going to have you leave that rose in the heart area for a few moments uh, and, and just relax, accept it into the heart area and that you're, you're gaining information at this time on that. So just relax and recognize and know that, that this is a, 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 your favorite color and the red rose are one now and place it into the heart area. And I'm gonna have you leave there in the heart area for a few moments. And I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back when, when, you, uh, when it's time to come back. So take advantage of this time. Uh, remember the feelings and the sensations.
very gently now, wherever you are, allowing the rose to come out of the heart area. Remember the feelings and the sensations that are alive at this time. Just relax and recognize the red, the, your favorite colored rose. Remember the feelings and the sensations and the colors. If it's changed, let it change. Let it keep on going. Becoming more aware of that rose now. And as you are aware of the rose, you notice that it's becoming larger. And larger. And it keeps on becoming large. Large enough for you to be on top of that. And you notice yourself on top of that rose. If you want to explore the rose, to go down to the stem or anything, feel free to do that. If you just want to wrap yourself into the into the into the rose and allow the rose to be you, uh, I'm going to leave you here for a, a few moments. Remember the feelings and the sensations that you have as you are in the rose. Take advantage. Know that you're very protected and secure. Know that you're very protected and secure, and you are relaxing, knowing. I'm going to leave you here for a few moments. Know that you are protected.
very gently now, wherever you are, find yourself on top of the rose again. When you're on the top of the rose, remember everything that you've seen, felt, and heard, and feeling very refreshed, alert, and keen. And you become aware of you're on top of the rose, and notice the next thing you do is you, you find yourself down from the rose and looking up, and allowing the rose to come to a normal state again. And as it comes to a normal state, remembering everything that you see, sense, feel, and hear, know, know that you are allowing the rose to go to the normal self. And then as it gets to the normal self, allow the, 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 the two rows to become aware of, of the of your favorite colored rose and the red rose. And as they, they become apparent to you, I want you to choose one of the roses and close it to a bud state. And when that is finished, I want you to go to the rose that's left over and allow that to go to a bud state and dissolve. After they have both dissolved, I want you to open, open your eyes and Raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. Yeah. We're all Okay. Okay. Reverend Marsha, how'd you do? You muted? Are you muted? Yeah, you're muted. Okay. Um, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Um. I haven't done that in a long time. And um, my favorite video, uh, it, cha it changed colors a couple of times, but it started off as purple and white. And later on, it kind of changed to purple and it's more of a purple and light green gold flecks all in it. And um, I found myself inside of that room like the whole time when it was when it was in my heart area. And during a second you can't hear? Um it's like you're chopping up. Okay. Um, Can you hear me at all now? No, can you hear me at all now? When you back up a little bit, I think we're hearing you better. Okay, can you hear me now? Yep. Oh, yes. Very yes. oh. right. Okay. Okay. Um, so while I was in while I was inside of the rows, I started noticing um, things like a creature kind of peeking out at me, like uh, like around a corner somewhere. And it felt like it was, um, I, didn't, I didn't want that creature to be there. And I, um, it just kind of like looked at me and then it, um, it just like went away. It just uh, like it got bored. It got bored and it turned around and it went away. That was something that used to hang around and it's not hanging around anymore. That's a very good sign. Because just what you went through, you, you, you've let that go. 
Mm. Yeah, That's, it that. felt, yeah, it felt really good. It felt really good to, you know, that it just, that feeling. yeah. Mm. I, I spent the majority of my time almost like in a fetal position, just inside of the rose. And I got also some information about rest, what rest really is. There's um, there's rest that allows my body to rest. And then there's rest that allows other people to do things that maybe I normally would have done, but it gives them an opportunity to do something. Mm -hmm. So I got information about the difference between those two. And um, when, okay, so when I allowed, I allowed the rose that was uh, my favorite color to yeah. close first. Okay. And, um, and I was okay with it. And then uh and then the other rows closed and they and they merged. So yeah, it felt felt really good. Thank you. But the the only thing I, I, I can say with this, I, I'll a little bit more in detail later, but uh, make sure you spend a little bit more time with you with that feeling that you had. When, when that when it that condition, uh, a condition left you, uh, and, and you felt it when, it when it left, didn't you? So think of that feeling yes. every day. Take take two or three minutes and feel that feeling every day. And, and Thank you. And, and there will be more information coming on this for you, too. But that, that was one of the main things that, that you accomplished there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jackie, how did you do? Oh, it was very nice. I had um, a blue rose, and when I joined them together, they were purple. And then I, it was in my heart area, and it was just this feeling of expectation and calm. And then I sent it out to the whole world and then to the universe. And then I was up on the grid of the universe, sending it out there. Very calmly, very calmly, not expecting anything back, just sending it out. And it was just a very nice feeling. It was just a very, not so much calm as alert, a very alert and good feeling. You know, it just felt nice putting that out. And then I was back in my office and putting it through my house and, you know, our yard and, and out to Tucson and out to the, the country and, that was nice. And then when I was in the rose, the rose actually changed to a sort of a deep pink, which, you know, I like. I, that We had roses like that in Scotland, and, and I really love that color. Uh, this I meant to say the scent was really nice. It smelled so good, the scent of the roses. And once I was in the petals, it was very soft, very soft and comfortable in this deep, deep pink and this lovely scent. And I saw these little points of light and I thought, what are they? And they were fairies. And I've never been a fairy person. It's just, you know, it's not, not really been a part of my experience. They were fairies. They were little, little points of light, but they didn't notice me. They were just going around their own world, doing their own thing. And it felt very comfortable. And I, I realized, you know, I, I've realized recently that I'm, I'm anxious a lot. You know, I, I, really, I never thought I was an anxious person, but be anxious about stuff because I feel responsible for everything and I want everything to be right and everything to be good and everything to be, and I feel like I should be able to change all this and make everything all right. And I just thought, you have to let that go. Just put out love and light and let the anxieties go, let the responsibilities go, let the wanting to control go. I always say to my husband, in my past life, I was a sheepdog. I had everybody 
corralled in. I want the best for them. I've got them in the right direction. You know, everybody out the house, everybody in the house, everybody okay. That's me. Everybody okay. Everybody all right. I want everybody okay. And this was saying, it's okay. Just let that go. Let it go. People can manage themselves and just sound out love. So that was it. And then when we came back, it was back to the red and the blue rose. And I folded up the blue rose first and then the red rose. It was very, very nice. It was a lovely meditation. Thank you. All right. Uh, I want you to remember those feelings that, that you had today. Uh, and, and all you got to do is get, get quiet and ask yourself to, to, to remember those feelings. And you feel them and everything like this. And that's part of you that's opening up now. Uh, and the psychic world is starting to open up with you and everything, and that's going to be a step in that in that direction and everything. And uh, especially the feelings that you had in there, they just be in touch with them periodically throughout the week. And all you do, all it takes is one or two minutes, and and you will ignite more of that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lady J. Lady J, how'd you do? Well, it was quite an experience. Um, <laughs> my rose was green color. And when I merged them, it came out purple. A really deep purple. And then at some point, it it's like the petals from the outside or from the yeah, the outside, the petals just started changing to lavender. Uh, so probably about halfway down through with a little, almost a pinkish tinge, you know, just around. And um, I had a, uh, kind of an anxiety with the red, with the red, agitated maybe is a better word agitated feeling with the red but when I went to the green one um, I was much calmer I actually felt that agitation dissipate uh, not gone entirely but dissipate and then when the two merged it, it was all gone and I was just very calm and peaceful and uh, this deep purple kind of I was tingly all over especially my extremities so and then I asked for a message. Oh, and that when I asked for the message is when the, when the lavender started changing. I mean, the rose started changing to the lavender. And um, I kind of got the feeling when I went into the rose, you know, you had it a bit bigger than when you went in. Kind of had the feeling I went right down to the base, to the purple part. And it was surprisingly soft. Somehow I thought it would be hard. I don't know why. But I just felt like I was home. And that, that just that sensation. And then at one point, I heard that hall, hallelujah, hallelujah from the hallelujah choir, chorus, you know. And that just kept going in the background. And I... I just felt like I'm ready for a change. So, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I closed the red one first and then the green one. <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, <laughs> I slept in my new, I slept in my new house for the first time last night. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. yeah so, oh, congratulations. Anyway, it was very peaceful. I, I feel like there's going to be more peace in my life. Of course, I've been through a three well, months of that, that extreme agitation. That was the introduction to it. Yeah. And, and, and you'll know when you feel it this time. Mm -hmm. So I, I would I would spend some time each day thinking of that of that feeling. And, and that'll that'll activate more of it in your life and you'll recognize it. Good job. Thank you. Good. Thank Good. you. Okay. There's who else is another? I can't see that. Angie. Huh? Angie? Are you yeah. Know? Okay, Angie, <laughs> how'd you do? I was gonna say no one, but then I was like, oh, I better 
I knew I knew you were gonna say it, Lady J. I was like, she'll just say it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, um for myself, uh the rose, okay, so the red rose when I began, that red rose was very rich, uh, very I, I could visualize everything that Reverend David was mentioning in such a uh, amazing way. The interesting part about this before I start is um, the shirt that I'm wearing today belongs to my grandmother. And every time I put this shirt on, I think of roses because she is all about roses. And um, I did not, uh, we, we didn't plan the rose meditation until right before we started. So it was, thank you, grandma, for being here. And uh, uh, for teaching me about roses and how to grow them. And uh, at any rate, the roses, the red rose was very deep, enriching. Uh, at the same time, when I picked my favorite rose, it was a very light, light, light pink, almost white color. And it was a very healthy and uh, it was in a very good state um, merging. It became um, a the red just kind of had hues around it, just little hues, little pieces of it to remind me that it's still there. But yet the main color, my favorite color was really prominent in it, nice and um, full. So when it opened uh, and I was able to visit and get down in there, I found a petal. I usually travel everywhere and, you know, doing this practice. I um, do a lot of traveling, but this time I just found this beautiful, strong petal and I just stretched my whole body out and just laid out and relaxed. And so I just sat in this meditation and was getting a lot of feedback, uh, universal, like what what's, you know, information, future stuff. So I was just sitting in some information there and enjoying that. And um, when it all came around that we would um, separate the two and whatnot, I really stuck with my color, firmly, firmly stuck with my color this time. And um, I just was at peace. Well, I, I want I want to let you know that you did travel. Yeah. You, and you got to that space. Mm-hmm. So a, a little bit more information about the the, the 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 red rose actually represents the outside influences of your life, uh, and if you close that one up first, I would suggest to spend more quality time with you, uh, and I, and, uh, and and also no, notice that there there's some changes that are going to be taking place. Uh, and the outside influences of your life, and when they do come up there, some of the feelings that you had today are going to be with that. Uh, and so, you, 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 the, the, this meditation that you have actually opens up you to to uh, expansion. Uh, mm -hmm. and there were some very good uh, uh, feelings in, in here. I felt, I felt with that, you know, and so know that that's what was going to be filled filled with you is the feelings of, of that of the peace and, and and also when when the rose went into the heart area that that's your love experience that you had in your life and so and, and you know you can take a part of this uh, uh, uh meditation and, and 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 you don't have to do the whole thing you know and i would take parts of it and and, and, and take take four or five minutes uh, a time of doing this to get more information on, on that, especially the heart area, because because there's a lot of experiences in the heart area that that are starting opening up for, for you all, and everything. And and it, it, and what I experienced from from what, what you did, you know, there's an expansion going on in in your in your lives, uh, and and it's and it's uh, deeper than it was before. So be be comfortable with with the depth. Of, that you're moving into, uh, and and what you're evolving, there's there's each each one of you has some sort of a an expansion of what you are, so you are moving and growing. Any other comments? 
I have a question. Did I understand right? If we close the red rose first, which I did, yeah. that has the red rose has to do with outside impulses in my life. Right. So if I closed it first, then that means I need to spend more time with myself because I closed it first. Yes. Make sure you put more time with yourself. And, and you know, some of the feelings that you had in there and your meditation, feel of those things because they, they were a little bit different than they were before. Mm -hmm. Oh, de definitely different. Right. Okay, thank you. I, I always like your questions. Yes. It's interesting how each time I do this, I may, you know, I love it when Reverend David does it. So I usually want him to run it <laughs> so I can experience like, and I always forget, you know, it's interesting. It's like, I want to forget which one to open first or whatnot, you know, for whatever reason, it's like, I intentionally plan it for my universal self to be able to experience whatever it is, is going on in my world. So it's really neat how I just allow which one's going to open mm -hmm. and I don't judge it. Nice. So I have we something. We just allow. Was that I had something strange. Uh, my stomach gurgled the whole entire time and I'm not, I don't suffer from gurgly stomachs. And so I was wondering whether this actually was to do with me having just had my breakfast half an hour ago or maybe I was just sitting and aware of it, or whether there was something actually going on, you know, psychically in my body that was just going yin, 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 the entire time. Um, I don't know whether that had an effect on my body or whether it was just well, by what, chance. What was the thing called chemicalization? Called what? The chemicals, chemicalization. The chemicals in your body are changing to be more have more psychic ability. Okay. So, so that might have been happening. It is happening. There's no might bees in anything. Okay. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Remind yourself of the, the meditation that you had. It, it's all development. And, and, and it's right. development that you're, you're in. And, 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 it's, and you're going to be able to recognize that more. And, and so be, be aware that you're going to be getting some hunches and everything and feelings and everything. Pay attention to them and try to follow through with them. And, and okay. Especially with the feelings that you got and everything. Remind yourself of those feelings. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. As Lady J said, wow. Yes. But still the other thing is, it was interesting because I kept thinking when we first started, when he first, when you first said it was going to be, I thought the yellow somehow was in there. And well, I, yellow, the color yellow. Maybe I, the, I think last year you might have had yellow. I wonder if that's it because then I, when I when I asked what was my favorite color, I went through pink, blue, and ended up with green so no yellow mention every day Maybe. we change you, you, there isn't there isn't any significance to the color is there david that you choose well, your yeah, favorite color at the, moment, at the moment there is and whatever that color represents that's what's going on in your life right then and there right. uh, and so you know that you, you you're, you're I, I i really like it when people say well i got a different my, my favorite color is different. Said, well, I, congratulations, you're changing. Because that, that's a sign of change. Now all you have to do is figure out what the change is. And accepting of change. Accepting, yeah. Because <laughs> we are all the time, right? That's it's one just, thing that's constant. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Good stuff. All Good right. Stuff. Yes. So, thank, thank you so much, Reverend David, for doing that. That was beautiful. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you. It was nice. Next week, we will continue on with obsession and possession, as David says, possession. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
All right. I won't be here next week because I'm going to Montana, but I'll be back the following week. So uh, Casey couldn't make it either. He was hoping I could send him videos and I just told him, you know, just go to our YouTube channel. You know, we can see them all there. And uh, he had forgotten about that. So um, Jackie, if you'd like to watch the next week's, it'll be there for you. Sure. Okay, thank you. So let's do our gratitude and thank you for this class. Thank you. Mother, Father, God, we give gratitude and thank yous for this day. We ask for your infinite light of protection to be with us and through us as we go on our path. So when we meet those on our passage, we share the love that is so abundant. We give thanks for this day. Amen. Thank you. Thank you and enjoy your course. Yes. Fun. Thanks, David. You're welcome. See you later. Fun. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great week, everybody. You too. You too. Bye-bye.